right, my camera is ready, I am ready, so let's talk about some stuff. <coughs> Hi guys, I'm Alice, and today is another story time that I guess you guys liked my last story time. It's about like someone rejected me. Today is not like a cool story, let's say, and it's not a clickbait. This is how I felt. Listen to me carefully. So I'm gonna be talking about my horrible experience about the military cop attempt in Turkey. I guess all of the world knew about this attempt um, in Turkey on July 17th. Me and my best friend would go to Ikea, but luckily she said she didn't want to go there, so I ended up going to a mall. I walked around a bit and then went back home about like 10 p.m. let's say. When my way back home, I saw that Bosphorus traffic was awful and I, don't, and I didn't know why, but you know, it's it was like um, Friday, so people you know, go to the Asian side. Then I get back home and I saw my friend just message me like she's she's basically telling that soldiers blocked the Bosphorus Bridge and we don't know why because you know normally people just don't block anywhere. First we thought they were searching for a terrorist car or terrorist group or something because if you guys didn't know that there were terrorist attacks in Turkey and still there are a ton of um, terrorist attacks in south so i opened the tv and um check out the news channels and they were just showing the soldiers and the bosphorus bridge but no one knew what's going on but then about like 30 minutes later they said that this is a military cop and they took control of the national tv and they made this announcement basically they're saying like people should um go to their houses they don't allow to go outside um, and this is a military cop. But this attempt didn't last long because people go outside to stop the soldiers and stuff. It's just so complicated, I, I can't explain all of them. So if you're curious about that, you can search online. But about like 2 a.m. I said I should go to sleep. By the way, that time I heard jets flying over my building. I slept about half an hour and I woke up with this incredible sound of a jet flying over my house. Um, and then I went back to sleep, but uh, this happened like two t two more times. And the third time, I was like, I should I should you know wake up because it's impossible for me to sleep because I'm so scared, you know. And I opened the TV again, and I saw that they bombed the TBMM, which means Turkish Grand National Assembly. In ten minutes, I guess I I don't remember that much because you know I was so scared, like horrified. My flat began shaking so hard incredibly hard i was thinking it's just an earthquake it's just a big earthquake like that kind of thing and that ear splitting sound and then boom i swear that i thought they just bombed somewhere near my house and i lay down near my bed like here and i'm lucky that my uh, windows were open because some people's you know windows were uh broken to pieces it was that incredible like that sound is just insane i was crying and i called my friend because she was alone she was crying and she said like she she felt the same thing she said they bombed here too by the way we're not living near each other we are far away from each other okay but she said the same thing i thought they bombed lots of different places anyway i said i packed my bags you should pack your bags too and maybe we should run away, I don't know how, but you know. Like 20 minutes later, news channels said uh, that um, jets were flying so low and so fast that they caused sonic boom. That was just a sonic boom, but it was like, I, I, I don't know how to explain it, like, I don't even feel well telling you guys this, but I, I guess people should know about this because this stuff happens okay all around the world not in turkey not in europe not in france not in syria everywhere and that was my horrible night of my life i, I was so scared because you know who knew what's going on outside because i can only see it on tv but my neighbors were so scared that they said they think they saw a bomb so they're trying to go outside i tried to stop them because you know if there is a bomb, <laughs> you can die. And he said, like, they can bomb here, but, you know, you have got 50%. 
you can die or you can live but outside like you can get shot people can crush you with their cars and a lot of stuff can happen because I can hear the gunshots all over the place I knew that lots of people um, died uh, because of the gunshots and um, other stuff even though I am a panic attack person I sometimes cool as a cucumber I mean just in like dangerous situations that night I accept the idea of dying because if they bought my flat I don't have any choice I probably be dead now but it was just insane thinking about like I can die here and I was praying God like please stop this nonsense because uh, I don't know guys I don't know how to explain this but it was so hard for me to handle this situation I've been having lots of trouble since then when I hear about when I hear a jet flies over my house I just got panic attack because I have a trauma because of this situation maybe some people just keep laughing oh my god you're just scared about the sonic bomb like <laughs> if you were here it's not a sonic bomb okay I literally believe that someone just bombed somewhere near my house just that was like that I know this incident is not the same as a war but now I understand a little bit how living in a war zone means I know this is just the smallest thing that I just scare the hell of my life I, I, I don't know how people living in war zone feel like like it's just Whew. so I just wanted to share this story with you guys maybe you experience something like this um, but I hope no one never uh, experienced this kind of stuff so that's it for today hope you guys like it if you like it don't forget to subscribe and give it a big thumbs up comment down below have you ever experienced something like this I hope you are not and do you like story times I mean I can do I'll also start time videos if you want, you just let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! You guys are not following me on social media, so be quick, okay? Follow me on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. I like to share lots of pictures on Instagram, so keep in mind, okay? So, yeah. Bye!